Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. This is going to be a video on SQL interview questions. And we're going to be looking at what is the difference between rank and dense rank. I always find this is a question that when you're put under pressure, either in an interview scenario or maybe uh, taking your actual certification, and your mind goes blank, it can be quite difficult to answer. So we're going to jump over to SQL Server Management Studio and go through some examples and have a look at the difference between the two ranking functions. So I'm going to start off as always and just run a select all from the underlying table. In this case we're going to be looking at a table called Sales2. Uh, we have a Sales ID which is an identity column, our Customer ID uh, which relates to our customer table, an employee ID, which is the person who made the sale, uh, a date, so all this data is for sales in October, <coughs> sales total, and a payment method of simply cash or card. So what we're going to be doing, first of all, we will narrow down this query just to make it a bit simpler. And we'll take a look at sales cust ID of three. So we can see this person's got five rows within this table, uh, different purchases made on different dates and different amounts. Although we can see sales ID 3 and 63 are the same value. So initially we're going to have a look at just using a row number function, which will become apparent why we're going to start off with that. So I'm just going to write um, we're going to select, uh, sorry, we're going to order by within our over clause, our sales total. And we'll just give that an alias as Ronan. And we might want to return other columns as well. So we'll go ahead and return that. So we've got our five rows numbered one to five now. So let's go ahead and throw our rank function in here initially. So we're going to use the same over clause. We're simply ordering by our sales total. I should have really just copied that just for speed, but uh, there we go. So we've now got a rank of one, two, three, and then four. Uh, what we're going to do just to demonstrate the differences between these is I'm going to just change our over clause to order by sales total descending so the highest values will be on top and then we can see we've got our two highest values our sales total amount of 8430 sales ID 3 and 63 both have the same rank of 1 and then we can see our next row has the rank of three. So we can see when using the rank function, we will get gaps in our data if there are tied values. So if there was, if the sales total amount was all different values, we'd be looking the same as the row number. But in this case, we have two values that are the same. They're the highest values. So we have both ranked at number one and then the next rank is number three. Now, how I like to remember rank, uh, for all sports fans out there, I'm a golf fan, so when I see a golf leaderboard, if there are two people tied at the top, the next person down on the leaderboard would be ranked three. And I believe that occurs in most sports. Uh, I know in football they tend to use individual uh, well, more so towards the row number because there are tie breakers such as goal difference and then we look at uh, the actual scores between the two teams during the season. So if you have any other examples of that, do post them down in the comments below. I'd be interested to know. What we can assume from this is how the rank function works is a count of previous rows plus one. So in this case, we have two rows at rank one, plus one, the next rank will be three. Now let's take a look at dense rank to see what the difference between the two are. 
Again, I'm going to use exactly the same over clause. And I'll just type it out. Sales total descending. I'm going to just alias that as dents. And now it should become apparent we can see a difference between the two. So if we have a look at our new dents column, we can see as previously the top two amounts for customer ID 3. Uh, sales ID 3 and 63 both at 8430 match so if we used rank or dense rank we'd get a match both values would be at 1 but when we look at the third row which is sales ID 23 we can see a difference dense rank is showing as 2 whereas rank is showing as 3 so we can assume from that and in fact it is correct from that that dense rank doesn't leave any gaps within our values in this case we're looking at integers so dense rank will always record increasing integers again it will show values with the same amount would be tied in this case we can see that within our sales ID 3 and 63 they have the rank of 1 but the next value down so dense rank can simply be calculated by previous rank plus 1 whereas rank is calculated by count of previous rows plus 1 so we can see there we'll have a difference straight away now let's extend this table let's just comment out the sales customer ID I just wanted to filter down the data just to give you uh, just to make it a bit more simpler so if I go ahead and execute that now and we look at these two columns shall I take that off just to make it look a bit easier yeah so we'll get rid of the underlying data for now so it just shows a bit simpler so we can see with the rank function we have and dense rank we have quite a large amount of rows tied at the top with our ranking we have 16 rows so according to our calculation we have uh, 16 rows plus 1 will give us a rank of 17 which in this case is correct now with dense rank we don't need to worry about that calculation we know that we just simply take the 1 and add a 1 onto it and we get the value of 2 here which is as expected so if we have a look a bit further down we can see here we have in row 44 we have the rank row 42 the previous rank was 22 but the count of rows was 41 so we add one to get 42 and with dense rank we get eight so once we work with a large amount of ties we can start seeing a massive difference between the two values I think the important thing to take away from this so you always remember the difference is with dense rank there will never be any gaps in the values whereas with rank gaps will occur if there are values the same so if there are ties within the data within the ranking system there will be gaps within rank so i hope that has gave given you a really clear understanding of the difference between those two i know if you are looking to take the microsoft sql server certifications this is a question that is likely to come up i know that from past experience when i did them myself that this was definitely a question that occurred it will give you some values and say if i use the rank function what value on is next or if i use the dense rank function what value is next or it might flip that question around and say the next rank is this value which function did i use rank or dense rank really hope you have enjoyed that video let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget if there are any areas of SQL SSIS SSRS SSAS that you are struggling with please do put a comment down below and I will come back to you check out my other videos on the channel you may find some interesting stuff on there as well subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded thanks a lot for watching